Hi friends, it's Joy with Wearable Geology. Thank you for joining me this week. I'm sorry it's taken a couple of weeks for me to upload this video. However, I've had a pretty busy schedule, so I do apologize. I am trying to pull together uh, my new channel, which I am going to call In Search of Joy Wellness, where I hope that you, my few followers, will join me. On that channel, I am going to focus on yoga, meditation, Reiki healings, and um, some nutrition. And I would really like uh, for you to come along if you're interested in that type of stuff. So, wearable geology has kind of morphed into something beautiful and something new. Anyway, let's get back to this. So let's go ahead and discuss what we are going to practice today. So I'm gonna be doing a Reiki crystal energy healing session. That's such a mouthful to say. But we're gonna be working on our heart chakra. We've been working on all the chakras, starting with the root, and now we're up to the heart. And we are gonna focus on opening our heart up and accepting the love that we deserve. So sit back and uh, let me uh, tell you a little bit more about your heart chakra. Our heart chakra is the place where we learn how to love ourselves. We learn how to love others. It's a place where we build our relationships with our partners, our family, and our friends. It's a place where we learn forgiveness and acceptance. It's a place where we can grieve freely and learn how to heal from it. It's a place where we learn compassion and discernment. It's also a place, this is beautiful, it's where we learn the center of our awareness where we learn our insights. It's where we open up to new things. Now, the things that we tend to do to ourselves in protection from whether it's past experiences, past traumas, we think that we're protecting our heart by building all these walls but in actuality, it blocks all of that energy and that energy just gets knocked out of place. The chakras run up and down, straight up and down your spinal column. And when they are out of whack, you can actually see where the energy centers are and sometimes they can be off, so you, they won't be in a straight line. So today we're gonna get to work and open up the heart and get these negative energies that I'll tell you about in a moment, the, the feelings and that you may be experiencing. So this might be the perfect session for you. When your heart chakra is out of balance, you can experience feelings of being defensive, you can be jealous, closed down, fear of intimacy. You can also feel um, that you're putting yourself in a victim's role or actually you can be on the complete opposite and try to be the savior of everything. You tend to be codependent and in need of other people's approval. Sometimes you even experience um, a lot of isolation and tend to be antisocial. And I find that to be really prevalent uh, nowadays. I have a lot of friends that say that they are introverted and I don't believe that it's introversion. I believe it's um, trying to feel, put your feelers out. And it's really, we're, we're so hyper stimulated all the time. Sometimes we tend to react in certain ways. And when we do simple things like meditation, yoga, Reiki healings, 
we can balance all of those things out and learn to work through all these stresses that come to us on a day-to-day -day basis. Anyway, without me talking on anymore, let's go ahead and get started with the session. Now the session will be um, about 15 minutes long. I will give you a little bit of an update about the stones that I'm going to be using in the crystal grid. And then from there, um, we'll move into the session. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. We'll start with green adventuring with the heart chakra symbol. Green adventuring is a great stone for those of you who are leaders. It helps promote compassion and empathy. It will encourage perseverance and it is known as the stone of prosperity. The next stone we'll look at is rose quartz. This is a carved piece of rose quartz. And rose quartz is a beautiful stone, which most people know, I'm not sure, I shouldn't say most, but it's one of the most popular stones because it really opens up your heart. It, it opens up your heart on all levels um, it, to help promote self-love, to help promote friendship, connections, inner deeper healings, uh, traumatic healing, and grief. And here we have Ruby. So beautiful, beautiful faceted little rubies. And rubies promote love and nurturing. They promote health, knowledge, and wealth. Pretty. Here we have pink banded agate. Now this one is dyed, which is fine. Um, I'm not one for dyed stones usually, but these are really pretty. <laughs> I like the color, so I bought them. And Agates are very grounding, um, very nurturing and loving stones. And so I chose this one as a pink one because it will relate to the heart chakra for the color. Now we have this beautiful piece of green adventuring. This is the only green adventuring cap that I have. Um, I love this stone. I've had it a really long time. It hasn't called me to make it and I won't force it until it's ready to be made. <laughs> Lovely. Or if you guys are interested, if this one says, hey, my email's down below. We'll move on to the next stone. The next stone we have is pink opal. Pink opal is very powerful. When you wear it next to your heart, it will unlock and activate your heart chakra. It will open up and fill your aura with beautiful, calming, and tranquil vibrations. This is a really cool shape. Malachite, I've read, is one of the most important minerals for protecting against negative energies. It protects our auroric field and it fills it with positivity. It pushes out and dispels all negative energies. And the next stone we have is pink kunzite or kunzite. <laughs> I always say pink. Kunzite is really beautiful and it opens up your heart. It acts like a vortex. And it will allow for all different types of love to be pulled in. Pink Kunzite is really cool. Um, this one, when I wrap it, it'll stay rough because this crystal is just, it's gorgeous. 
Okay guys, I was having issues uh, lighting the sage, so we'll go ahead and start with it already lit. Now, during this time, what you can do is you can go ahead and get situated. Go ahead and sit in easy seated position on the floor or on a chair. Sit with your spine lengthened, head atop the shoulders. Start to take some deep, easy breaths. Try to lengthen the exhale. Close your eyes. And during the Reiki session, go ahead and take a short 15 minute, 15 minute meditation. I will ring a bell when I start the session to let you know and I will ring a bell at the end of the session to let you know.
Thank you for joining me this week for this beautiful session to open up your heart chakra and allow love to enter into your heart. We are love and we all deserve love. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Let me know what your experience was. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Next week I'll be back and we will do the throat chakra. Thank you again guys for watching. Take care.